How you doing? Sean O'Brien again with Two A Guys in Gear, and we're at the Big Three East event in October. And uh, I'm with Rich from Diamond Head USA, and uh, he's going to tell us about uh, a couple new cool products they got. So this is the uh, VRS rail. Uh, this model gives you the key mod. Uh, forward of the rail, we see that the cut end and the muzzle brake basically look identical, and that's just to uh, give you a nice clean look on the rifle. Uh, a lot of OEM manufacturers use these, like uh, Stag and Wyndham. Uh, the muzzle brake uh, is another piece that is uh, very valuable to this rifle in that the base of this uh, muzzle brake is really wide and it uh, definitely disperses the gas evenly and allows you to stay on target a lot easier. Uh, the other thing you see on this rifle is our uh, new polymer backup sights. Uh, these backup, uh, backup sights allow you to use your large or small aperture on the rifle. Uh, as your initial thing that you see, where a lot of them you have to choose just the uh, larger aperture. Uh, the other uh, interesting piece of this uh, diamond head uh, sight is that it actually gives you a, a housing that fits inside uh, the front uh, housing and allows you to get on target and uh, acquire your target a lot easier. Yeah, I really like those sights um, after looking through them a few times. Uh, especially like the fact that you can, for close range, you can flip that down, like you said, and and bring one diamond inside the other diamond. It's almost like a ghost sight. It definitely helps. Yeah. It definitely helps you acquire quickly. Uh, where uh, on a, on other sites you may have to guess where the uh, the front post would be. On here, it does give you a reference point. Yeah, having that diamond that's shape. That's nice. I like that. All right, and then we got this one. So uh, on here, we're going to look at the same rails, but uh, the difference on here is we have the ACOG and. Uh, in order to enable you to have a backup sight on the ACOG uh, on most rifles, you do that to forward mount it uh, and have a, a rear uh, flip up sight. Here we have the D45s that with the push of a button on either of them are going to flip you to a 45 degree sight and uh, it allows you to stow them away cleanly so they're not getting hooked on anything. If you do have them deployed and they do end up bumping into something, you can just deploy them again, but they're just going to bump out of the way. Yeah, what I really like about those. Um when you do have a cannon at a 45, the actual sights are over top of the barrel. They are. Instead of like most sights that are, uh, the 45 sights that are uh, offset of the barrel. Yeah, I yeah. really like those. These, uh, these sights also feature the same diamond pattern and allow you to acquire your target quickly. So uh, the way they could stow and go underneath of uh, optics, they can go under an optic that's a uh, half an inch above the top of the rail. So definitely fit on their most uh, optics that you have even low mounted. Nice. You know the price point on those? Uh, these are two ninety nine. And what about the? Uh, uh, those are about one hundred and nine dollars. One hundred nine. Yep, for the set. Yep. Yeah, that's a pretty good price. All right. Well, I appreciate you taking the time to speak with us, and uh, yeah, it was it's, uh, it was nice meeting you. And uh, if you like us, you can check us out at twoaguysandgear.com. See you.